What is up, family? So, it is a beautiful Sunday morning, and we are in the parking lot of Aldi because I heard through the grapevine that they have two of my favorite things, clearance and it's Aldi, basically. So, we are going to go into Aldi's and check out some of their clearance that they have. I think summer clearance that's on sale. Yeah, and see what they have to offer. So, let's go. Parking lot's kind of crowded, so I'm just What's going on, family? Nobody's coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, so... I'm on summer break. <laughs> um, it's like the second summer break for my job. So, we don't go back to school until after Labor Day. Which I love. So, we have like a good two and a half weeks off. Like we did the first time. And I have just been getting lots of things accomplished that I normally can't get accomplished on a weekday. But today is a Thursday and I had made plans with my aunt to go to the movies. We're gonna go see Nope. The movies have always been like her and I's thing. So we're going to see Nope at 12.15. I'm supposed to be meeting her at the movie theaters. Um, but before that, I'm going to go back to the uniform store because sometimes uniforms are in. I had to order his shirts because they were out of the size he needed. So I had to order them. And they also finally sent me a Theo's uniform voucher. So I was able to finesse that and basically just use it for TomTom -tom because the way their school works elementary school kids wear uh, hunter green tops khaki bottoms middle school kids wear navy blue tops with khaki bottoms so as it stands in the house right now Theo has all of his brother's old navy green tops sweaters khaki pants so I basically just use both uniform vouchers to get Tom Tom all of that new stuff because the sweaters are expensive and to be honest, even like their little polo shirts they have to wear are expensive. Like twenty dollars for one shirt. One shirt, twenty dollars. And like their sweaters are about forty dollars. Once tax and all that stuff, sweaters are forty. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> like they're nice, good quality uniforms. If anything goes wrong with them. You can take it back to the store and they'll exchange it, give you a new one, no problem. Like there was one time that the stitching in Thomas's uh, sweater like started to unravel and like developed a hole on the side. I just took it back into the store and she was like, oh yeah, that's a manufacturing issue. We'll replace it. Walk out of there, out of there with a brand new sweater. So it's a great store, a lot of perks. It's just expensive. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the uniform store, store, pick up his new shirts that had to be ordered. I tried to, I always try to order like for the beginning of the school year for the size that they are now and then go a size up for later in the school year, you know, once they have their little growth spurt, which always seems to happen like around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, they wanna start growing and stuff. So, oh, I hate road work. Like why can't y'all do this on the weekends? Or at night. Why not at night when no one, people are barely on the streets? No 
one has time for all these detours. But yeah, so got him two youth medium shirts and then two youth large shirts and then a fleece. This is annoying, so annoying. Okay, I gotta go through hoops. But yeah. That is the status of where we are now, guys. So I'm gonna run to the uniform store first, pick up his uniforms, and then um, I also need to get them school sneakers, which I have to find a shoe that is, that is wide enough for their feet because they walk around barefoot all day. So their feet just like, they grow out, like they do get longer, like Theo has really long feet. But because they're barefoot all the time, like their feet are kind of wide. So their dad had got them uh, some Hirachis and they only had them for like a couple weeks before they started complaining that the shoes were too small. And I was like, that's impossible because your dad specifically went up a size for you guys because he knows how fast your feet grow. And they're like, no, they're too tight, they're too small. And it's really because the shoe is too slender. And so it's like squishing their foot and that's why they feel like it's too small because lengthwise the shoe fits just fine. It's just the fact that their foot is wide. So I'm gonna look at like journeys or something to see if they have some all black vans that they can wear. able to do that before it's time to go meet my aunt at the movies is yet to be determined I am fam here are the sweaters well not sweaters but tom tom shirts and basically all I was waiting for like I went into the store like two days ago Told them what shirts I needed, then ordered him a fleece instead of a sweater, because you know, he's a bigger boy now. Make him different than his brother. So I ordered him the fleece for when it gets colder out. But for the shirts, I had to come back and get them because they had to sew this on. And they were like really crowded with everybody picking up their stuff. But yeah, he's a youth large now. He's actually. Now that I look at them, because of course Tom Tom wasn't with me when I came and got these, the youth large looks more so like him right now than the youth medium. I don't know, we'll see when he comes home. Because as you guys can see, I am sans children. Uh, their dad came down up whatever from Colorado and they have been spending all of this last week of summer before school starts with him. So, so happy for them. Um, but it's also given me the opportunity to get things handled. So I guess I would have known that he needed a youth large if he was with me, but it's whatever. I can always get him other shirts. Um, okay, so got that. Now it is 1036 and we're going to try to run to the mall and go into journeys and see if they have a wide enough shoe for their foot. All right, guys. So I uh, went in the mall, did not find sneakers. <laughs> Um, did have a conversation though with my ex and he's bought the kids um, their school shoes so I just have to worry about buying them like going out shoes yeah but I went into the mall and I guess I was really early because all the stores were basically closed and yes it was like before like 1030 oh my gosh it was like 1030 so I know for later that stores in the mall don't open up until like 11 
but yeah they didn't really have anything that was super cute i did look at some vans and like journey kids but ugh, i hate speed bumps they didn't have that many choices like the highest there was one shoe that i like really liked and was gonna get but the highest the shoe went up to was a size four and when I had talked to my ex, he had said he got the, the kids sized for shoes. And it turns out that they were um, a size bigger than what the store I was in had available. So, like I was going to get one set of shoes, uh, one shoe for Theo. He needs a three, which I don't know when that happened because last time I checked, he was just making a two, but he said he's a three now. So the shoes that they had like skipped over um, a three. So nope, couldn't do those. And then I just didn't really like anything else that they had in the store. They don't have much of a selection. But yeah, so I just have to try somewhere else. And now. We are headed to the movie theaters because I'm supposed to be meeting my aunt. Um, we're going to see the movie Nope. I was telling you guys earlier. So, the mall is directly across the street from the movie theater. So, I am just pulling up into the movie theater parking lot. And I will see you guys when I get out of the movies. Alright, good morning family. It is a new day. I am still out running errands, so I didn't get shoes yesterday, um, but I did pick up the uniforms, went to the movies with my aunt. Um, we saw a note, and I must say, I have a couple comments, a few questions, and some concerns. Uh, the first of them being, what the hell did I watch? Uh, maybe I need to see it again to understand it, like The Matrix, maybe it's like The Matrix. You gotta watch it a couple times to understand what's happening. Um, I think it's one of them, so, I don't know. I might have to watch it again on bootleg. I don't know if I would, like, spend my hard-earned money dollars to watch it again. But, you know, it was cool. It was cool. It'll probably be better once I understand it. Um, but today, it's a whole different mission. I am, come on, cars. I was better off going to the corner. Um... But today's mission is, I had been, I had applied to this apartment complex like a while ago, a while ago. The waiting list was super long. So, you know, you basically just like pull out the application and think nothing of it because it's that long kind of a waiting list. Hold on. You just turn on the air because I don't know if y'all can hear me with the wind. Come on air, I need you to come through live and in living color. All right, but yeah, the waiting list was really long so I just filled out the application, forgot about it. So before I had, prior to me leaving Colorado, the apartment complex had called me. It was like, hey, um, your name came up. Are you still interested? Like we have an apartment available, all that good stuff. Like just send us this paperwork, email us all this stuff. Like, and we'll talk to you when you get stateside, like all that, everything was looking good. And then I stopped hearing back and then I called and it was a whole different woman who answered the phone and she was like, oh, the woman that you were talking to, she got replaced. So I'm the new person. Um, like give us like um, a couple weeks, I believe like a couple weeks or a month. She was like, give us some time basically to like get the office in order um, since we're taking over from the last company. And I was like, all right, cool, great. Cause at that time I was still in Colorado, still trying to like iron down the plans of how we were getting back to New Jersey and all that stuff. So I was like, all right, cool. So then didn't really hear back from them. So I ended up calling again and they were basically like, oh, um, you're not approved. And it was just like a whole backwards thing. And then somebody else would call me and be like, oh yeah, you are approved. We just need this and this. And then I would send this and this. And then they would call back and be like, no, you're still not approved. That was just, it was a whole mess. So they had called me like three weeks ago, a different person this time to say like, hey, again, your name came up. 
Are you still interested? Can I run your credit? I was like, cool, great. So we were having a conversation and she was like, you know what, let me um, look you up in the system and I'll call you right back. She never called me back. So I was just like, all right, they're playing. At this point, they're just playing on my time and I'm just over it. So I didn't even like call her back, try to get back in touch with them, no nothing. I just left it alone, done. So fast forward to, what was it, like Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. So Wednesday, I'm just on my computer, doing whatever and they call me again that same person who called me two three weeks ago and never called me back is calling me now so she says the same like word for word like she was reading from a script said the same things to me over again about this apartment and I was like you know what before I say yes to you running my credit like I'm gonna need to make sure that y'all are for real because I'm trying to build my credit up and every time y'all do an inquiry on my credit like that lowers it and y'all aren't even serious like y'all are doing inquiries for basically no reason so she was like oh you know what that might have been me that you talked to let me just look in the files hold on don't hang up so I hold and she comes back and she's like oh yes you are approved your credit is good all that kind of stuff she's like come in she made an appointment so that's what we're on our way to now we made an appointment for me to bring in my paperwork and then look over everything like they needed my w-2s and my tax returns and all that jazz oh, i was actually supposed to turn there dang it ah oh, well so yeah that is where we're on our way to now is to my appointment for this apartment oh <sighs> and cross your fingers that they're actually for real this time because like just going back and forth with them, back and forth with them, like enough is enough. Oh. Don't you hate when you're like driving and you're at like a nice little pace and you're moving and all of a sudden the car in front of you wants to like put on their brakes because they're trying to turn over lanes of traffic into an area where mad cars are coming. So now you have to like be completely stop because they're, they can't move at all. Yeah, yeah. That just happened to me. <sighs> so now I'm like in a rush to get to this apartment complex because I can't remember if the woman said my appointment is at 11 or 11.30. So either we're going to be walking in early or like five minutes late. Yeah. I really want to say it was 11.30. And I wouldn't even, like, I would be, like, mad on time because I got down here two hours early because I had to stop at a Staples to print all of the, like, documents. They wanted, like, my bank statements. And, you know, I have 50 Lem seven savings accounts. So I had to print out all, like, the bank statements for those and plus then my checking. And then they wanted six pay stubs, which with my job I don't have because we just transferred over, um what do you call them uh, payrolls so we went from tricor to paycom and in that switch we have lost all of our pay stubs and like pay history prior oh my gosh why, why? we lost all of our pay history prior to the day of the switch so like from what is it july to January of this year when I started working there, I don't have pay stubs for that. So she asked for six pay stubs. I only have three. So I'm just gonna explain to her what the situation is because nothing else I can do, lady. And we don't even have like access into the Tricor system where all of those old pay stubs would be. We no longer even have access to that. So I couldn't even get it if I wanted to. So yeah, that's where we are. That's where we're headed. Um, cross your fingers, say a prayer. This has been a lot. Like, it's truly been a lot. Okay, so I am just leaving 
the office after filling out all of the paperwork. Whew. I feel like it's been many hours later. It actually has been over an hour. So I walked in there at 11.15. Nobody even knew why I was there. <laughs> what the purpose of my visit was. Like, huh. They're very organized, I can tell. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, but once I like told them exactly what was going on, uh, they started going through the paperwork and everything and it was a whole bunch of confusion because remember I told y'all they had called me before and I had already started filling out paperwork before and the woman who I had talked to who they replaced she had also started filling out my paperwork before because when she did call me at the time there was an apartment available so she had like basically 80% of my paperwork already done and ready so they were like trying to go through all of that and trying to figure out like where to pick up from where she left off and like how far in the process she had gotten and everything whatever so that took about 30 minutes for them to figure all that out and then I just replaced whatever paperwork they said they needed because of the other stuff was expired so um I it was cool with my uh pay stubs I explained to them the situation that we changed payrolls and they were cool with it I just had she gave me her email for me to email her when I get my newest uh, pay stub and yeah it's where we are um, but she was really adamant that like she wouldn't let my name get lost in the system like it had before but we'll see how that goes we gonna see we will definitely see so yeah that is done and now I can go home and do other stuff because Tom Tom has back to school uh, meet the teachers not back to school night it's uh, meet the teachers today so that starts from one to three for both kids actually so we are on our way now home so that I can go drop by the school and see exactly what class what classes my babies are going to be in for whatever portion of this year if we stay in the city who they're going to be with because that would kind of suck, though, to have them do, like, a mid-year transfer because we moved so far away. But, I don't know. We would have to get up early anyway because this apartment is an hour away from my job. Like, an hour commute. And in, like, the worst possible way. Because to get on the highway, I already know that that is just going to be jam-packed. It's always jam-packed in the morning for traffic. With everybody trying to get onto 295 to head up north or for people who are trying to like head across the bridge the traffic is always insane so we would already have to get up dumb early in order to make it back to my mom's house so that they can get dropped off for school oh this is main street i know i don't need main street i can go across it this is fine it's fine everything's fine Oh my gosh and there was a library right there I wasted so much gas <sighs> so in order to print all the paperwork that I had to print at first I was gonna go to this like resource center thing they have here where like you can print stuff for free but they didn't open until 11 and I was like I don't got time to wait for that like I want to have all this stuff done because again I didn't know if my appointment was at 11 or 11 30 so I, drew, I looked up for like a Staples or an Office Depot or an Office Max or whatever. The closest one they had was like 10 miles away. So I was like, no, that's stupid. So then I was like, well, there was a library. I can go to the library. But the library I went to was like 15 minutes away when literally they had a library right across from that resource center that I was telling y'all about where I could have just went there. Oh, it's done now. It's over. It's, hindsight is twenty twenty, but whatever. All right, so I'll see y'all when we get to the back to school night.
Good morning, family. So, the day is here. Both kids are going to school. Hallelujah. It's, ooh, so happy. Both kids are going to school. Um, Tom Tom is fifth. Theo is now in second. And it is a full day for them today. So, amen. Won't be seeing them until 3.30. Won't be seeing them today until 3.30 can get stuff done before I have to go back to work. Be yeah, let me we'll make sure they have everything they need in their book bags. First two days. So, so my name, so my name is you. I bet you ready? We haven't done it in a long time. Who's super smart? Who's a leader? Never a follower? Who can be anything he wants to be? Do anything he tries to do? Who's gonna change the world? Yeah, you are. Hi, Theo. You ready for second grade? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right, remember what we used to do? Yeah. Who's super smart? Mm -hmm. Who's a leader? Mm -hmm. Never a follower? Mm -hmm. Who can be anything he wants to be? Mm -hmm. Do anything he tries to do? Mm -hmm. Who's going to change the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. All right, bye, Thomas. Have a good day. All right, come on, Chunk. I don't know what the heck is happening. So I guess we got to get in this line situation. Young